Hello. Today we're going to be regrouping in the ones place, both by adding and subtracting. Say that we have 451 marbles. And some of them are small. And we know that there's 218 of them that are small. And we have a whole of 451 marbles. We know our whole thing, the whole thing of the marbles. And we know that 218 of them, which is close to half for 218, are small. We know this part, and we know our whole amount of marbles, but we don't know this other part. We don't know this part of how many marbles are large. That's our question. How many marbles are large? And we know that our number bond, we know our whole, 451. We know our part, 218. But we don't know this part. Okay, I like the label. Then we know that if we bring these two parts together and we'll find our whole and bringing them together would be an adding. But when we don't know a part, it would be the opposite. It'd be, okay, well, let's find that part by taking away. If we take this part away, we could find our whole. Okay, so now we know we're subtracting, we're taking away. And we'll start off with drawing our place value chart. Ones, tens, hundreds. And as we know all these things, we know, we also think about what other things do we know, okay? We know 451 is greater than 218. What other things do we know? Hmm. Well, Mr. Preda, we know we take away from our larger number. So we know our larger number is 451. So we take away from this num larger number. And we're doing all this thinking before we even get started, okay? So you might also say, well, 218 is less than 451, okay? Now, you might know some other things, okay? Go ahead and write it down. But now we can get started, 451, so 450, 3, 4, 5, 5, tens, 1, okay. So we'll start in the ones place. 1, 1, take away 8 ones, hmm, can we do that? And you would say, no, Miss Bella, we can't do that. Okay, so what would we do? And you'd be thinking and thinking. And we could regroup, you know, somebody shout out, we'd have to regroup. Bring that 10 over to the ones place. And we have to break it apart because it has to look like the ones. It's in the ones place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we have 11 ones. So I have to write that over here too. 11 ones. And we have 4 tens. So I have to do this over here too. We do it here, we do it there, we do it everywhere. Now, so we have 11 ones, take away, 11 ones, take away those eight ones. Can we do it? You're like, yeah, there's enough. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones were taking away, taken away, and we're left with these three ones. You're like, well, am I done now? No, we're not. We still have these four tens. We go to the tens place. Second step, we have these four tens, take away one ten. We're left with these three tens, okay. We done now? No, let's go on to the hundreds place. We have 400, take away 200, and we're left with 200. You're like, yay, I'm done, but no, not, we're not done, we're not done at all. Okay, we still have to now figure out, hey, let me get more evidence 